Okay, we have several books here by Paul S. Martin um, in conjunction with other um, scientists about the archaeology. His work mostly being based in Arizona is published at the University of Chicago Press. I don't have the jacket for it anymore. It's an old book called uh, My Severity is the first thing in the uh, this is Chicago. This is from the Natural History Museum and it's um, published in 1947. Uh, Martin um, as the chief curator of the Department of Anthropology and two other table of contents. Um, what is archaeology? He's <laughs> going back to the beginning origins of the American Indians fallacies concerning the American Indian, objects of stone, kinds of stone, objects. He goes through everything. Look at this. Trade and commerce. Um, he's talking about the earliest Indians. Um, and then he goes into the Southwest with Anastasi culture, uh, Hanok culture, and um, then the, he has the Eastern United States. Um, Minnesota, Plains area, Ozarks, um, the Middle Southern area, Georgia, quite a bit on Georgia there, Florida, and Lower Mississippi Valley. Then he talks about the Pacific Slope, he's talking about California, and he just basically, and then the far north with the Eskimos, and um, then the illustrations of that huge number of illustrations with that huge just a very comprehensive text um, and that's one what is archaeology now what I'm going to do now is just kind of flip through some of the pages here because I can't go through the whole thing he's got um, drawings and photographs of, you know, artifacts and so forth, charts. Um, he's got uh, different um, things in illustration all the way through this. Um, this is a classic text. I got it at a bargain price. Let's see, what did I do? Yeah, 33 bucks. Realizes that the big animals seem to have ex had a massive extinction during the Pleistocene. Uh, massive kills of where animals disappeared. And they were really concerned about how did that happen. Um, that the extinction during the late Pleistocene of the, that this, it, that in the Americas at least, uh, when the Americans, when the uh, humans came over to eliminated them. Let's take a look and see what kind of, um, this book here um, is an edited one, so it has different contributions by different people. But um, look at the amount of charts and everything this thing has in it, different bones and stuff like that, because it has to do with the, um, Um, this is just very, very impressive work here. Uh, let's see what we got here. They found, there's all kinds of stuff that they find. A good reason to stop construction so that these guys can get in and take a look at it, right? Um, ch massive data amount collected. This book here, um, so it's sponsored by the National Academy of Sciences Research Council. So it's volume six. But um, this is the, um, maybe the most important volume in the amount. This, and again, this is the first edition. It, it, unfortunately, the price was clipped out. I got it for that price. Really, it was the first edition. To, I bought Pleistocene Extinctions. Okay, now the most recent book of his that I have 
is The Archaeology of Arizona. And this is a really good book, too. Just look at the little map they have right at the opening, like you did for the... Um, for the American Meso. Uh, it's 1970 and died relatively young. Let's see if I can... Um, tools section. Environments of the Ari of Arizona. Um, there's the space and time dimensions. Uh, definite the stage is similar stuff that done in the 1947, but no doubt updated to include child the Pleistocene period. Of course, humans had to settle down and start growing your own grains because it was the easy killings were gone. Um, so. Okay, so, okay, so now, there, look, there's a whole bunch of illustrations again, massive, massive volume, it's in good, excellent shape, um, very nice um, illustrations, uh, and your mistake, because at first I thought this was just a torn page, but look at that, see, it was printed that way. It's valuable or anything, but it's interesting. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... So, this concludes uh, the work of Paul S. Martin. A very, very great 